and just as cold as it looks out there, it is just as cold on the inside of our house. But not because the temperature is cold, it's because there are a lot of in trouble little boys here. Yeah. I will not lie to mom. I will not lie to mom. Oh, that's one boy. I will not lie to mom. I wonder who those boys were that were in trouble. You're in trouble too, so you're making some cards, huh? Don't even get me started on you, little one. I'm going to show you two ways you can tell that Bonnie is not doing well. When her sink looks like this for days, that's not a good sign. I don't enjoy that. So if I've let it go, that means it's bad. The second sign is when my toenails aren't done. My toes never look like that. Ugh. I mean, I just don't know who else is feeling this way. I know we're out of 2020, <laughs> but somehow, magically, life didn't change when it hit 2021. Was anyone else just unrealistically thinking it was going to be so much different? Actually, it is so much different and there is so much hope this year, but I just, I'm just, just, you know what I'm thinking. I didn't think it was gonna change as much because there's still COVID around and the cure is still in the works. Still in the works, so I'm like, it's not gonna be the same. My, what grade are you in? <laughs> My fourth grade is smarter than me, okay? Cody, wait, you can't go anywhere. I have something I wanna show you guys. How many of you have tried retail therapy? Retail therapy. <laughs> you go out in the family room, I'll be there in two seconds. Surprise. It is a surprise, you guys are gonna love it. I haven't had a surprise in a very long time, so I'm kinda excited. My Aunt Buck completely convinced me, and on oh, the way home the other day, today? yes, on the way home, I okay, sat in the car with the kids. A surprise for me. No, but I sat in the car with the kids and we picked out a massage gun. A massage gun. Whoop, whoop. I did not know that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, retail therapy does bring joy. Look at those legs wrapped around me. Thank you. <laughs> Now, let me tell you guys. Will we have to charge it? The, yeah, I know we're gonna have to charge it. And um, it goes to 20, and I love that, that it goes to 20. It's so cool. I'm gonna love this. <laughs> He's gonna love this. The one that my aunt had, it was $99. I will put it in the description. The one thing that she was saying she didn't like, and the one thing that we all noticed that we didn't like about it, is that the battery didn't last for very long. This like one lasts for six hours. Eight. I think this one lasts for eight. <laughs> so this one that I got has better reviews. It has a much longer um, battery life, and it was not that much more. I think it was 129, which, so I'll link both, and you can decide which one you want. Like, if you don't need a long battery life, and you want to use it for 20 minutes before you go to bed, and then stick it on the charger, Great. If you have kids that are wanting to use it one after the other continuously, then you'll probably want this one with the longer. Ooh, that's a cool like. Oh, I want to. <laughs> All right, let's Mom. plug this in. Yes. What I was gonna say, there were over five thousand three. Mom, smell this. Smell it. Four. No, five thousand three hundred fifty five star reviews on this gun, so it would be a. It's, it's true. It wasn't like a four point five star. It was a like five thousand five star reviews, so I'm pretty excited. There is one more tool above this one that's like $350, and I think that the biggest difference on that one is the ergonomics of it, like when you hold it, it's a little more um, convenient. So here's what I figured. I didn't wanna spend like $300 on a tool that I wasn't sure if it was going to um, work or not, and so I thought if I get this one, and, okay, we're gonna get it charging. I figured if I liked this one, if we use it a ton, and, I, and I feel like an upgrade, then we'll do it. But I think this one will be just fine. I don't think I'm going to need a bigger one than this. But I really wanted a massage tool like this, and so after using my aunt, it was like, no, we have to have it, we need it. And let me just say, it was a really good like bonding experience with the kids. They thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was really nice to watch them 
thoroughly enjoy the tool. So we're going to use it every Sunday. And it was nice like watching my aunt use it on my kids. I thought, you know, I need to do that. I need to do that with my kids. While that's charging, I'm going to show you. I love that it comes in a case. There's two different sizes of bat head. And there's a knobby thing if you're wanting to like... I don't know, get Is down like in somewhere, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that looks like a taser thing. <laughs> yeah. This is good for, here, turn around, let me show them. It's good for down the center of the spine like this. Oh, Lincoln, I know you're almost as excited as me. I, I've never tried this one. Yeah. I think this one's going to be really good for like the bottom of your feet or the palms of your hands. Ooh, that's what this is going to be good for, the bottom of your feet and the and in your hand. Oh, yes. Oh, now I'm very excited for this one. Okay. We're going to get our act together while that charges. I'm going to wash, you're going to dry, and you're going to put away. Lincoln's excited about it. Get excited about it, bossy. <laughs> Ooh, we got a full thing of soap. That's something to be excited about. <laughs> you ready for this, bossy? Let's go. The whole sink. The whole sink, I know. It's because I didn't do the dishes yesterday and I let them pile up. Do a little every day and you don't have such a huge job, kind of like shaving your legs. Don't let it grow out for three months and then you have a huge job. Just do it once a week and it's not that big a deal. Well, it all depends. <laughs> well, that depends. Oh, these dishes are crusty. No. While the boys finish up this sink, I'm going to start cleaning on this sink. And I think that dish soap does such a good job. Yes, I have cilantro on this finger. <laughs> I just noticed. Um, I think that it does a really good job of brightening the sink. So that's what I'm gonna use. My washcloth's already soapy. I added just a little extra soap and I'm just going to go through and scrub the sink. And something that I think people don't usually do I put my nail underneath the rag. I get really into this crevice right here because that always kind of has that yellowy or kind of browny um, look. And once I do that really well, first that makes a big difference of it in and of itself. But then, and I usually do this last so it's not like I'm dragging it all over my sink in my rag, but I go down inside the drain like this because down inside gets really dirty. The rubber stopper gets really dirty. I'm not gonna show you because it's really gross, but I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna clean underneath and underneath it, but you can just easily pull this out and it's always super disgusting under there. And by keeping that clean, um, you eliminate smells. And I think that oftentimes that's why kitchen sinks stink sometimes is when one, the garbage disposal doesn't get ran long enough and also um, just like that gooey buildup that gets in there. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. One sink is done, one is not. Maybe you don't see the difference. Huh, yeah, well, maybe I wasted my time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the sink I did, but it doesn't seem like that big of, I don't know. Oh well, it's clean. The entire sink is done, dishes are done, and I just had to show you. <laughs> here, here is Lincoln's cupboard. And you know what? I couldn't be more thrilled. I think he is so funny and cute that it just doesn't, <laughs> it just honestly doesn't bother me one teensy little bit. <laughs> it's just a little fun game I get to play. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's a little better. <laughs> I mean, who knows? It's to each their own, right? Link, you are up. That is charged. This goes in super easy. You just like push it in and all you need is level one. Do you want me to do it for you? No. Do you want to lay down? No. Are you sure? I want to say you. Me? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not going to say no. Ooh. <laughs> that feels nice. What do you think? The lady has been very inquisitive. She's like, what is that? It must be it on her on. Like her stomach, <gasps> like on her chest. No, I didn't even touch. Like, what did right she do when you did it? 
She was laying down. <laughs> Liked it, but okay, I, I here's didn't touch her chest. I just did her hair. <laughs> okay, here's the rule you don't touch lady with it, okay? And no heads, nope, no heads, no hair, no mouths, nothing. If, if you don't use it appropriately, you Can don't do get a try it. Nope, nope, because that's part of your head. And if you guys don't use it appropriately, you won't be able to use it at all, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. okay, do you want to lay down and I'll show you? I want to do it on Bossy. Okay, go ahead. How's that feel, Bossy? Yeah, mm -hmm. so relaxing. Good job, Link. That is so nice of you. This might look a little wild because it's making my son like <laughs> go crazy, but I always want Joel to rub my hands, but I don't want his poor thumbs to like break off. This is incredible for your hands. Haven't tried it on my feet yet, but for your hands, whoo! Yes, Try you need this. Feet, if you like your hands being rubbed, this is really awesome. I wanna show you guys what I made for dinner. I'm going to have the recipe on my Instagram. I have a highlight that's called food and I will usually like snap a picture and stick it on my um, Instagram story highlight. So I'll put that in there, but you can just see it's a super easy chop salad with lots of different things in it. The thing I love the most about it is that you can have it for leftovers because Usually you use lettuce as your base, and for this I'm using um, purple cabbage, and it doesn't get soggy on you, so you can save leftovers for tomorrow. Usually the, I double the recipe, it feeds my family of six, and then there's always leftovers, enough for me to have lunch tomorrow, which is super great. I love peanut sauces, and this has, like the base of it is peanut butter. So it's kind of like a Thai-ish salad. I actually do have peanuts that I got to go on top so we can sprinkle that on top. Anyway, so there's our dinner. Oh, oh and chicken. Oh, yes, we have leftover chicken that we can put in the salad. Woo -hoo. Got the kids in bed. I spackled makeup by accident. I splattered it and it got all over this. And if anyone knows, foundation just doesn't come out of things. So I got a new shower curtain and I got a new shower liner. So I'm excited to put those on. But that was not my point of this clip. My point of this clip was to come in and basically get my um, toenails filed and taken my crusty old nail polish off. I know that's like the worst, I, for me it's the worst feeling in the world having your nail polish chipped off. Like I just feel so much more put together when my toenail polish is on and my fingernail polish is on. It's a personal thing. I have done this. This needs, this needs like my full attention. <laughs> I have had my toenails done, I mean like off and on. Sometimes I'll give them a break because I think your nails need a break. But I have had, I have been doing my toenails since fifth, sixth grade. I remember going to like a party in Hall at, during Halloween at like in seventh grade. And I had my toenails painted black. I used a teeny tiny art brush and I painted a moon and bats and a cat perched up on a fence. I put that on my big toenail. It was tiny, but it was so cute and it just shows you like, <laughs> just always, always had my toes done and my fingers painted. Just always, it's just always been something that I've really liked. This is basically my night and yeah. Hope you guys have a really good night and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.